Good morning, everybody. So Salty is out here at Streetcar Takeover Denver. We actually have a hood on it, not fully finished, like the Zeus's are just kind of hanging in there. I could put more in. I'm gonna try not to run the hood today, but if I need it for rules or whatever sake, it's here. So uh, got everything fully mounted there. So that's kind of the first look at the car with the hood on it. And it is big, it's massive, but uh, kind of cool. It doesn't stick way, way out because the cow's so dang big. But we're here to run the street racer class, which is kind of interesting. You run the best you can, then they bracket you into three classes. The fastest can run as fast as they want. Next class down has a cap, and next class down after that has a cap. So it's kind of like a floating index depending on where everybody qualifies. Vanamir Speedway. Really unfortunate. This is the last public streetcar day over there. There's like an invite one towards the end of the year, but we were at Nationals last weekend. Uh, and to know that this beautiful, majestic place is going to be shut down is just sucks. But one of the reasons why I want to come up and run this event and then hopefully maybe a uh, race week later in the year we'll see there's that uh, might be a rough one but we'll see what we can do so yeah kind of sucks to see this place going away i ran my first full quarter mile in salty here at the end of the season went like a 10 50 at 130 and then i knew i needed to put a cage in this thing so we're actually going to go down to the end of the track we're going to go down to the end of the track loop up and around and we'll get a first look and see how much salty weighs because they have a really nice scale up here so I'm curious to see where we ended up on weight i'm really really open for 34 something uh i really really want 33.99 with me in it but i don't think we're going to hit that but uh 34 something would be okay we're still 3500 pounds i'd be a little sad so let's go see what this thing weighs moment of truth I just got done playing and figuring out the bump, I hope. It didn't take at first, now it's working. It's a little aggressive, so I turned that thing down. So now, Salty's bumping. So the first pass up today, we'll be bumping for the first time. So we're gonna go to the driver's meeting, come back, I'll probably turn it up a little bit from last night. I haven't done those settings yet. And then uh, we'll go let it rip. Prepping the car to go make a hit right now. And then we'll go do a cruise here in just a little bit. Here we go, guys, round one, we got this GTR. Round one of qualifying, put a little bit more in it. I wanted it for sure. I didn't want to go through deep and not have data and a good time slip and all that bullshit. So 
figured just play it safe on the first one. We'll try bumping the second one, then I can play with it in the pits and kind of throughout the day. All right, just got slapped. Have a look down because I want to wait for you guys. All right, 8.58 at 164 mile an hour. Went 131 today, 5.59. Fastest pass ever for Salty today, 143.60. So nothing crazy there, but uh, we definitely give it some more. 143, 559, 131, 858. Other than the 60 foot, that was the fastest pass all these made all the way throughout the entire slip. We just gotta get that 60 foot. So we'll keep working on that, but it keeps taking it. So man, when the boost comes in on that pass, you could feel it like it was <laughs> coming good. So we'll get, uh, I mean 130, almost 132 in the eighth is no joke. So we need this thing to go like 140 something eventually. So uh, pull the data, April pack the shoot, and get ready for the streetcar drive. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but everything looks so much better last night. I changed the PIDs on the boost controller. Everything looks so much better. Uh, and then looks like we're at 19.1 pounds of boost. Went through the traps out the back at 66, shifted right around 72, and it drops down to 62. So still got plenty of inverter there. So definitely just spinning it higher makes a massive difference. What do we leave on that time? So it went on 143.60 and left on 5.2. So I can definitely throw more in it on the hit. I'm gonna look back at the video and see kind of how it looked when it left. Make sure it's not gonna carry the front end or anything. And we'll just keep pouring power to it on the short side and I'll turn it up a little bit up top. Top and off the field for our crews. Throw some fuel in it real quick. Ready to go. Oh, oh god. god. Oh, too much. <laughs> Trying to go too fast. Too much like in a rush. Pro. That was seven bucks. <laughs> so I think we got a cruise on the same fuel we race on. I'm not 100 percent sure, but instead of switching over, I don't have enough pump gas with me and I had to run to the store. We're doing the drive on C16. This smells like $29 a gallon. 10 miles to the gallon. 20-ish mile cruise. We have a 40 or 50 dollar drive coming up. It's alright. So we're heading out on the cruise. I'm a little nervous of Salty because we haven't done a real long cruise. At, at highway speed, it starts to gain 10. So we'll, we'll see how we can do. Do a little drive here and uh, go up. I guess we're gonna go up past Red Rocks, hit the interstate, flip around, come back. It looks like it's about 20-ish mile round trip. I think Salty should be good. If we're driving like this whole time, we'll do it all day long. It's some highway speeds that I still haven't figured out the cooling yet on this car, but we're about to find out.
something to like drive at 65 and like an 85 degree day without gaining heat will be will be money. Which on the long drives, if I had to pull the diaper off before we leave and then put it on at the track, I could do that too. So um, that'll help clear up heat. I can also do it to the tranny, pull the tranny diaper off. Uh, that'll pull the heat out of the tranny. So on them, if I end up doing a drag drive with a really long drive one day, that's probably what I'll do. But uh, I prefer to not have to. Assessing the data log, you can see I released the trans brake right here on the edge, and right here, this thing, boost pressure goes away, or dome pressure, because it's calling for 18 there, but then it has zero and it's calling for 19. Well, your boy had another safety set, so I've been babying it and having a bunch of safety sets, so I'm looking in here and I go, why doesn't it have dome pressure? We have bottle pressure. Bam. Boost pressure above 20, revert. Not no more, we're putting that thing at 30. So it went up, it got into the map, and then it fell on its face. That's why it started to run like crap, because it went from like 17 pounds of boost to, I don't know, way less. So I don't even know if we made it to 60. It still took it, I'm gonna look at that, and maybe go up even more. I need to see, let's see what at least it left on. It, all, it tried to leave on seven, so that it felt good. And then, but at 60 still wasn't crazy. I need to look at that, I think it, eh, it, it was 140 something. So I'm gonna look at the 60 and uh, figure out a game plan for the next round and make sure the boost safety doesn't get us. If you guys can see this or not, there is the qualifying and we ended up at number eight with the 858 since our last run was kind of a botch and then the fast guy in the class 788 and the top class of all that gets to run heads up. That means we're the slowest car in the class. That's all right, I'm just up here really to get, I'm already happy with what it's done today, but I mean, we got more in it. We're gonna try to go even faster, so we're gonna put a tune-up in it that I think will go even faster and then see who we get lined up. I don't know if they're doing like fastest or slowest, like, you know, one versus eight, or if they're doing just random or whatever. So we'll see when we get up there who we get, but I'm just putting in a tune-up to hopefully go a new PB again with Salty today and then maybe, hopefully, get a win. All right, so we're in the lanes for E1, getting ready to go. They got small tire, then street race for wild, and then the other two street racer classes. So, like I said, we're in the top one. Maybe a little on gun, but we're gonna see what happens. I threw a tune up in it. The track looks terrible. There's like bald spots on the launch. So like I even took a little out of this hit. Maybe somebody faster will spin. We can go around them. Maybe we can just pull uh, pull a good pass out and, and make this win happen. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Got the buy. So now we can actually see what the car would do. <laughs> and then we'll get one more chance to hopefully turn it up some more. It looks silly. They don't feel silly. It's hot. It's hot. It's super hot. All right, guys, here we go. Got the buy run. Or you put a tune up in it, we'll see if it goes down through there.
Let's go seal this thing around. Oh, it's hot. Steering wheel is smoking hot right now. Good Lord. It wasn't crazy fast. Uh, I mean, it felt pretty good. It felt like it left good. job came off but uh, held on there for a while for a couple hundred and sixty mile an hour passes day couldn't be happier that last pass kind of sucked track went away and salty went in made seven pounds of boost was gonna have the best 60 foot it's ever had until we spun so uh, is what it is good day of racing happy with how the car performed in the last 24 hours we put we ran three or three eight second passes so super happy gonna be happier with that mid eight second passes so Quest for sevens to come as we keep dialing this thing in. I really truly believe that probably was an eight, a deep 840 pass if it would have hooked, went, and ran out the back. So probably at 167 or something like that. So we're getting there with it. But appreciate everybody for watching. I hope everybody's enjoying the salty racing content. We got a lot more to come as we dial this thing in and get it turned up even more. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you do me a favor, hit the like button to push this out to more people. We'll see you guys in the next video.